chief investigator for the Nevada State Troopers. When you're vacationing in Nevada, you may try your luck with Lady Fortune. You may win or lose. There's one thing you can be sure of. The games are honest. There isn't a casino in the state would think of risking its license to make a dishonest dollar. Here's a pair of loaded dice. Watch. Seven. Natural. These weren't used in a casino, but they did figure in a case we call the live shell game. Be back in a moment. One hour out of Las Vegas, heading northeast, U.S. Highway 91 slowly begins to rise from the hot, flat desert of Nevada to a 5,000-foot plateau on which most of neighboring Utah rests. Sam and Myra Denfield were going home to Wisconsin after two weeks' vacation on the Pacific Coast. It was hot. Mrs. Denfield was complaining they should have left Las Vegas earlier. Sam thought there was a place to stop and rest just ahead. Cactus Pete's Desert Museum was a tourist attraction. Gila monsters, rattlesnakes, and something called nature's freak. Howdy, folks. Turned down right cool today, didn't it? Cool? Yeah, we had the car heater running all the way from Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> but one side cool off before bits of peas. Myra? No, I don't think I really care about it. Oh, come on. Don't miss it, ma'am. I'll guarantee them varmints won't bite you. They are? Unless, of course, you bite them first. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Look at this, dear. Gila monster. Jeez, that's awful. Man, look at the size of that snake. Hey, you look. I always put in the car. Okay, suit yourself. You got change? Yeah, I got some. Hi, old boy. That thing is a fake. Come on, Ed, don't argue. There's no point in discussing it with you. You're just plain ignorant. Now, look, mister. Ed, please. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Man, that doesn't beat all. <laughs> a flying jackrabbit. <laughs> yeah, how about that? This guy thinks it's real. It is. You tell him. <laughs> well, you can almost see the glue and... Those wings sure look like hawk wings to me. Just what I said. Seems like the state of Nevada is just full of wise guys. How'd you like to make a little bet? I don't mind. Ed, please. All right, $20. <laughs> if you got $20. You're covered. How about you? <laughs> look, I don't want to take your money. I thought so. But I will. Hey, mister. Yeah? Come here. Now you run this place, don't you? Yep. What can I do for you, friend? Well, that thing in the case. I mean, those wings aren't glued on, are they? They're real. Well, now, you're the first one to ever ask about them. Mostly folks just get a big laugh out of that. Of course they ain't real. <laughs> okay, wise guy. You pay. Here, 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 now. Look at that. Get out of my way, Pop. Oh, for heaven's sake, stop it. Look, mister, why don't you just pay your bet and leave, hmm? My money's in the car. Go on outside, Mary, and see this guy doesn't try to get away without paying. Come on, Ed, let's get out of here. Please do as I said. Now, you fellas calm down. That man's got a nasty temper. Well, we didn't start it. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah, that's all right. Man, I'd sure like to fix that guy's wagon, that big windbag. Yeah. I wish we'd have bet him a hundred bucks. Hey. I bought these for a gag in St. Louis. We'll teach that guy a lesson. See, this is a regular pair. But this pair of dice throws nothing but sevens. Oh, I read about those. We'll give that Weisenheimer a chance to get even. With crooked dice? Sure. Now, look, you don't have to get into this, but I'm sore. Besides, I don't mind taking a guy like that. He looks like he can afford it. 
Oh, man, I'm gonna have myself a ball in Vegas tonight. The biggest stake and the best shows in town. Here's your money. Thank you. I was just wondering if you two big shots are gonna give me a chance to get my money back. The bet was your idea. In other words, you're chicken. No. We'll give you a chance. That's more like it. Sure. Hello, partner. Stop in again next time you're driving by. Sam, what earth have you been doing? Seems to me like you owe me some consideration sitting out here in this boiling sun. What on earth are you looking at? What was that nature's freak? Sam! Well, don't sit there and sulk. I'm the one who should be mad. It was hot waiting for you in this car. Mara, how much money you got? Oh, about three dollars and a half. Why? Is that all? Well, you had forty dollars this morning and the traveler's checks. Sam, what is it? I lost our money, all of it. We'll have to stop at the next town and wire home. Lost our money? How? Where? At that place back there while you were waiting. I got in a dice game with two men. I can't explain it. I just lost the money, that's all. Three hundred dollars? Yes. Oh, two men. Was one of them a big fellow with his coat thrown over his arm? Yes. How'd you know? I knew they were up to something. I saw him come out and wait for the fellow that ran the place. Then I watched while the both of them talked together with their heads together. Then the big fellow went back inside. And he didn't go to his car? No. I knew they were up to no good. Sam, you stop this car and go right back there. You've been cheated. Myra, I think you're right. I lost $300 to a bunch of crooks. And we're going to go back and get it. But you... I will wait for this car. All right, I'll be back in the morning. But I still don't think we should have taken those traveler's checks. I keep telling you, if we get greedy, we got trouble. You do just what I told you, and there won't be no trouble. Hey, look. We got trouble. Yeah, get inside. All right, mister, I want my dough back. Well, now, we don't give no refunds once you've been inside the exhibit. I'm talking about my $300. Three hundred? Now, mister, I think we better go inside and talk about this. Now, I'm all mixed up. Yeah, you sure are. I thought so. All right, you two, hold it right there. So, you came back too? You bet I did. I came for my money. Your money? Well, I came back to pick up both you crooks, mister. Call the cops. Uh, I don't want no ruckus in here. Loaded dice they used on me until something went wrong. Are you going to deny it? No. They're his dice. And I think you're working with him. Wait a minute, buddy. Don't let him get you flustered. He can't prove anything. Oh, no. We'll just let the cops decide. Mr. Collum. Hold it. We'll just wait right here until the cops arrive. Get a doctor. He's dead. You killed him. That was self-defense. Look, you all saw it. I'm not going to be the patsy for this. You're in this, mister, just like me. I'm going to call the cops. Oh, wait a minute, Pop. What are you going to tell them? They're going to figure you're mixed up in this, too. Ed, can't we just get rid of him and let's get out of here? No, no, that's crazy. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I could get rid of him. No, I don't want any part of this. Oh, you don't want to go to jail? Well, neither do I. And that includes you, too, Pop. Now, now, look, I, I don't want no trouble here. How would you get rid of him? Well, I, I could drive him down the road and leave him in his car. It, it's his gun. Cops would probably figure some hitchhiker tried to rob him. All we have to do is keep our mouths shut. It would ruin me if this got out. 
And after all, he started it. It was his fault. Right. It was self-defense. Yes, sir, I'll keep my mouth shut. Good. You? No, I won't help you. You don't have to help me. I'll take care of everything after it gets dark. Just keep quiet. Well? Sam! Sam! It's my wife. You better get out of here. And don't tell her what happened. Sam, are you all right? I thought I heard a shot. Please, don't ask any questions. Let's get out of here. But, Sam... Get in the car. Now, what time did all this happen? About 5.30, about an hour ago. After Sam told me, we turned right around and drove back here to Las Vegas. Sheriff, I'm ashamed of what I did with the dice, but killing that man, I couldn't stop them. Tom, meet me with the car. Let's ride out and have a look. Check the back. Myra, you stay there, hmm? A lot tighter than the drum. They're probably gone for good. Well, I suppose you're out of gas. I'm Sheriff Elder. I'd like to talk to you. Uh, yeah? Inside. Oh, sure. Uh, come in, Sheriff. It was here. Is that the man? Yes, he runs the place. Well, of course I do. What about it? Where are the others? The man, the woman. Well, now, which man and which woman? You know, we got tourists stopping by here all day long. Don't lie. You know who I mean. What'd they do with the body? Body? Mister, is that man crazy? He says somebody was shot and killed in a fight here about 5.30. Shot and killed? Mister, you're loco. It was here, right here where I lay. Look, you can't cover up now. You have to tell the sheriff the truth. There they are, sheriff. Those are the two. What's this all about, Pete? Darn if I know. You ever seen this loco critter before? Oh, yeah, I remember you. You're the fellow who was telling me you lost a lot of money gambling in Las Vegas and didn't want your wife to know about it. That's a lie. Hey. Who are you, mister? Well, my name is Ed Howard. This is my wife, Mary. What is this? What are you doing here at this time of night? And where have they been? I'll answer both of you. Been down to the store to get some things for supper. And we both work here. Is there anything wrong with that? To Mrs. Denfield, Lieutenant Lake, Chief Investigator for the Nevada State Troopers. How do you do? Sit down. Thank you. Thank you for staying in town overnight. Well, we want to do all we can to help clean up this mess. Are these the traveler's checks you gave the man yesterday? Yes. Where'd you get them? They were deposited in a local bank this morning. What hotel did you stay in in Las Vegas? The Continental. It's really a motel. Were you ever in a motel called the Sandy Palms? No, sir. Lieutenant, did you find the car they were going to leave the body in? No, we'll never find that car or the body. You think I'm lying? Well, nobody was killed. But he saw the man shot. That's part of a con game, Mrs. Denfield. Those three men and the woman were working together. The gun they used was loaded with blanks. But the blood on the shirt? Well, that's chicken blood or red ink. It's an old routine called the cackle bladder designed to scare you off. Well, if you knew, why didn't you arrest them? It'd be your word against theirs. They'd swear you made up a story to cover your gambling losses. <laughs> You're not going to let them get away with this. Now, let's get something straight. A con game won't work unless the victim has some larceny in his own heart. You got...